Hey viewers, I've had some viewers that have asked questions uh, about free wheels, cassettes, and they convert from a free wheel to cassette and they do other things. And I've had to, you know, try to explain through them through uh, messages, you know, like that. And so I decided to sh shoot a video showing the differences between a free wheel and a cassette. I mean, at a glance, they look alike. They basically do the same thing. They free one in the one direction, they catch in the other, and you know, so they drive like that how they actually attach the hubs and everything like that is completely different. And so I'm going to show you close up the differences between the two, uh, between free wheels and cassettes, and then maybe they'll understand like what they can and can't do with uh, a free wheels and cassettes. Okay, so here's an example of a free wheel, and it actually screws onto the hub, and to remove it, I'm going to need a tool, and the tools come in a variety of different flavors depending on the uh, manufacturer of the freewheel. Uh, this particular freewheel uses this tool here, so there's little splines inside here, so I, the tool just fits in and I can unscrew this from the hub, just like this. I already had this loosened. They can be very, very tight because when you actually ride the bike, they actually screw tighter and tighter onto the hub. I already pre-loosened this so I can pull it off easily. Now, if you look at the hub here, there's a threaded uh, section on here, and that's where the free well threads onto. Now this is relatively standard. Uh, there's some slight variations, maybe between English, uh, French, and Italian type uh, hubs, where the the, the uh, diameter, everything like that. But they're close enough that the free wheels are generally interchangeable. And so now this is the free wheel itself, and the most common uh, sizes are like five, six, and seven cogs on here. Uh, old 10-speed bikes had the, the uh, five cogs on there. Newer bikes have like the seven-speed uh, free wheels on here. Now the ratcheting mechanism is actually built in to the free wheel. So this is like this, it spins in one direction, but then kind of catches in there with the little paws in there. So that's all built into the free wheel. Um, now just because this stuff in here is relatively standard doesn't mean you can just take a five-speed uh, free wheel off and install a seven-speed free wheel because the hub uh, diameter, the hub width is actually different between the two. On like road bikes, a five speed uh, hub is going to be about 120 millimeters wide. On a six and seven speed uh, hub, it's going to be about 126 millimeters wide. So if you try to install a seven speed freewheel in place of a five speed uh, freewheel, the freewheel is going to rub against the inside of the frame because the hub is just not wide enough. Okay, here's a small collection of different styles of freewheels. So to identify whether you have a freewheel or not, uh, you kind of like look down there, there's like a little recessed area, and so like uh, you want to see whether there's an area for the tool to attach to. And so this is the freewheel I took off the wheel, and it's got the splines down in here. And so this one, it's also got splines, they're like a smaller, uh, smaller splines in there. Uh, this is an old uh, French freewheel, and so it's got a, like a larger opening there, but it still has the splines there. Now this is a different style, see it's got notches here, and so the tool uh, like this actually attaches into this notch, these notches here to unscrew this from the uh, wheel. And then there's also some other ones that have like four notches in there, so a tool like this would fit down in there to unscrew that. And then, though I didn't really cover it here, here's a single speed uh, freewheel, and it's got like four notches here, it's a little wider, and, but it threads onto the wheel the same way as these others do. So, anyway, this is kind of like, uh, maybe give you an idea of what to look for to see if you have a freewheel or not. Okay, so now this is an example of a cassette. It's a Shimano Hyperglide cassette, which is uh, one of the, the most common cassettes you find around today. Uh, and it's got like little splines in here, but how, this the cassette does not actually screw onto the wheel like the uh, free wheel does. It's held on by a lock ring, so I can remove this lock ring, which I already had loosened, and so I pulled this off, and it threads on there, and I can pull the cassette off. And the cassette is actually just a collection of cogs that fits onto the, this part here, which is called the free hub. There's no ratcheting mechanism inside the cassette. The ratcheting mechanism is in this part called the free hub. And then this is attached to the wheel. Now cassettes commonly come in uh, sizes from like seven cogs up to I think currently about 11 cogs. If you have like a seven speed uh, wheel on the back, it's possible you have a free wheel, it's possible you have a cassette. So if you look to see, does it have a lock ring on there? 
Uh, if it has a lock ring, then it's probably a modern cassette. Uh, if it has like what I showed you before, the kind of the recessed little splines like that, then it's probably a freewheel. There's like another variation uh, called Uniglide, which was a cassette, but actually had was held on instead of having a lock ring, it actually was held on by the smallest cog, which uh, screwed on there. And those are not really common anymore. The, the parts are hard to find. Uh, so and they're not really compatible with uh, modern uh, cassettes. And so before people ask, there is just no way to install a free hub to hold a cassette onto a hub designed for a freewheel. It's just not going to happen. So that is pretty much what the difference between a freewheel and a cassette is. So there's there's really no way to take like a modern cassette with like 10 speeds and install it on a hub designed for a freewheel. So if you want to convert you pretty much have to replace the wheel or rebuild the wheel with a, a new hub. Uh, it's just probably going to be more cost effective just to replace the wheel uh, with a hub designed for a cassette. So anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page, and I post a lot of stuff over there too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.